have 40 percent fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. We had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. There's never been anything like it. Well, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump squaring off last night in the first presidential debate of the election cycle. The two sparred over topics from immigration to abortion and border security continue to be a talking point for both campaigns. But did either side sway voters and who came out better? NBC's Alice Barr brings us the latest. Right now. In addition to that, with the stakes sky high, President Biden delivering an uneven performance that left many allies concerned. With muted mics, former President Trump appeared more measured than in past debates, but frequently made false claims. Every single thing he said is a lie. You're destroying our country. The former president slamming Mr. Biden over the economy. He's done a poor job and inflation's killing our country. The president pointing to gains from what he inherited when he said the country was in chaos. The economy is flat on its back. 15% unemployment. The two candidates sparring over the border and immigration. We are living right now in a rat's nest. And because of his ridiculous, insane, and very stupid policies, people are coming in. And reproductive rights. And if I'm elected, I'm going to restore Roe v. Wade. In the sharpest exchanges of the night, President Biden calling out Mr. Trump's legal troubles. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star. The former president denying wrongdoing. I didn't have sex with a porn star, number one. And deflecting. His son is a convicted felon. President Biden later saying of his performance. It's hard to, hard to debate a liar. So. Many voters frustrated by what they saw. The feeling I had inside was Trump, hell no. He, he lied through the whole thing. And Biden, it's like, oh no. He is really in a bad shape. The fallout only beginning from a debate that could help shape this race. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Well, President Trump also downplayed the January 6th Capitol attacks. And if asked he would, if he would accept those results of the election, he said he would if it was a fair and legal and good election. The candidates are set to debate again in September. And coming up in the next hour, we will bring you more on the debate live from Washington. So stay tuned.